Well, I'm out there making it another great day, and it's a great morning. And I'm up at the crack of not even dawn. It is. It's still dark out. And, uh, yeah, got my shades on. I'm ready to start the day. I'm waiting for the sun to come up. I'm headed into a mom and pop place, small little diner called the Silver Spoon Diner. I've been wanting to check them out. Ironically, I found out about them. I was getting Chinese food in a plaza, and their van was there. And I said, well, that's a pretty interesting name. Checked their menu out. Looked pretty darn good, and it was pretty big. So I thought, today I think I'll, I'll get me a good breakfast. So um, love some good diner food, the old greasy spoon out uh, mom and pop. Uh, kind of off the beaten path. Uh, this one's in a, in a Winn-Dixie Plaza. Uh, their address is on their website and stuff. It's it's not too hard to find. Pretty close to Jupiter Donuts over here in uh, Largo where I visited once. So we're going to go inside. We're going to get us a good breakfast at this mom and pop diner called the Silver Spoon Diner. It's coming at you right now. It is early morning and I'm headed into the Silver Spoon Diner and uh, a greasy spoon type place. We got a big, big spoon up here. That looks pretty cool. I like the big spoons. I do like their menu. It says Silver Spoon Diner and uh, down here it says where the gravy hits the biscuit. A little bit of coffee will get me going. It will get me woke up. I normally don't drink coffee in the morning, because I'm normally sleeping during the day, but I'm off this week from work, so coffee it is. Could this be a silver spoon? Looks like silver. We got a lot of zinc in it, though. I have got this silver spoon skillet, which is a couple eggs, bacon, and uh, cheese, and ham, and sausage, and uh, hash browns. Oh, it looks so good. One thing I like about this uh, skillet is the big, the big gigantic potatoes in it and uh, caramelized onions, some big potatoes. This is a small diner, but it's pretty darn cool. Look at the old retro booths, the old chairs, and uh, not a lot of people in here. It's very early morning, but it's pretty good food. And it did come with a side of toast, and yep, I'm tearing the toast up. There is just so much meat in this ham and bacon and sausage and cheese and it is so good. Well, I am back in the car and uh, I am full and uh, this was a little quick, quick little breakfast, but uh, I love these little places, these little mom and pop shops. I uh, always want to support that local business as much as possible. I mean... Uh, I have more options here than just McDonald's, and uh, if you're eating at McDonald's, you might as well just eat bricks for biscuits, because those are brick biscuits. Those are the hardest biscuits I think I've ever ate in my life is at McDonald's. Just might as well eat a brick uh, if you're going to eat that. They are fast. They're not quite as good as a home-cooked meal, and um, my whole meal with coffee, toast, and all that ten dollars and like 25 cents that was with change and uh of course i gave him a tip so uh I spend that much at mcdonald's at least and not get nearly as much food and be full uh like i am now and uh hope you enjoy me showing these little places um there's a bunch on my list and uh, what's interesting is i go to these places sometimes because i like the name uh i like the name of the place uh, and then I check the menu out, and it looks pretty good, and then I try it. I've not been disappointed yet in any of these little mom-and-pop places. And w w <laughs> I was thinking about this, uh, how I pick these places that are um, um, because of the name, because I like the name. Remind me of an old episode of an old TV show called What's Happening. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that remember the show. 
But Dwayne, on What's Happening, was betting on football games because he liked the color of the helmets. Here it is. I take the number of people who attended each team's last home game. Yeah. I divide that by the number of miles between each stadium. Yeah. And then I subtract the quarterback's number. That's how I get the score. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. There's got to be more to it. I mean, well, how, how do you know who's going to win? Helmets. Helmets? <laughs> helmets. The team with the fanciest helmets is the winner. <laughs> Wayne, please tell me you're kidding. So, I, I thought of that. I thought, well, that's kind of how what I'm doing when I'm picking these restaurants is because I like the name. And it reminds me of him, uh, his, uh, his strategy for picking the winning teams when they were betting on the football games was because he liked the color of the helmets. And uh, that is no way to pick a winning ticket for football. But, um, of course, uh, reruns. Uncle lost all of his money on that one. You see, Dwayne's system is a little unusual. Yeah. <laughs> see, he doesn't pick winners like you or I or anyone who knows anything about football does. Well, Dwayne, why did you pick Tampa Bay? I like their helmets. <laughs> you like their helmets? I bet all my men on a football team because you like their helmets? <laughs> that was hilarious. But that's what I thought of. Uh, thought of that that episode where they were doing that. But uh, I know that seems like a odd way to do things of pick, pick a restaurant because of the, the name of it. But uh, some of these places have unique names and I'm like, that's a place I, I want to check out. And hopefully you will want to check it out next time you're in the area. This is here is in Largo, Florida, right by this little suburb of Clearwater. And, um, uh, there's so many mom and pop diners and restaurants over here. I'll never get to them all, I don't think. Uh, we're going to eat our way through as many as possible. Uh, when I take a notion to go do one. Um, but uh, sometimes I do return to the scene of the crime of places I've already reviewed. I go back to Biff Burger quite a bit. And um, I've been back to Taco Bar. And I've been back to Detroit Coney Island many times. Uh, of course, I don't keep showing you that. Uh, I want to show you something different. So um, if you like this video, click the like button. Uh, leave a comment. Share the video. Uh, appreciate all your comments. And uh, we're going to continue having a good time. And uh, if you're not having fun with it, um, just hang it up, I guess. Uh, and I'm having fun with it so far, so we're going to continue. Uh, sometimes... You get down and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to do a video today, and just got to get motivated sometimes. And everybody out there with the comments really motivates me to go seek out more things. And um, I appreciate all the comments, appreciate all the subscribers. Never thought I would be over a thousand, but we are. Uh, and I, I, I can't thank you enough. I, I don't win any prize or anything like that, but um, uh, it's fun. It is fun. And uh, I have a, maybe a lunch, lunch I might go do today, a little place I'm going to check out. They sort of follow me on Instagram, and that's going to be in a future video. I'm not going to say where that's at, but I like the name of it, too, and the food looks good. And it's in Tampa. So uh, keep going out there like I do as best you can. I know it's hard sometimes. Everybody has problems. Everybody has things they're doing, and it's Try to stay positive. Surround yourself with positive people. Stay away from negativity. It's hard to do. Everybody struggles with it. And I'm hoping that some of my videos will put a smile on somebody's face or get them motivated to go and go check some of these places out. And just enjoy your day. And because um, you never know about tomorrow, you know. And uh, that's why I just go and do it. And uh, I am so full. Check out the Silver Spoon Diner in the link in the description. They have a big menu. Um, only one guy was working in here is all I see. Me, he's super nice. Kept free filling my coffee. Got me anything I needed. I got me the flavored creamer I wanted, extra napkins, and the whole everything. So uh, check them out next time you're in Largo, Clearwater area.
keep going out there and making it a great day <clears throat> because you deserve it.